Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video tutorial number seven for the LSP North Pole Cottage Digital Background. In this video, I'm going to show you really quickly how you can position a subject half in and half out of the house. I'm going to move fast in this one, assuming you've already watched video number two, uh, which is the complete step by step, very slow editing video to show you so many techniques when it comes to compositing subjects into digital backgrounds. Or if you're already good at this and you've already got experience, you won't need to watch that video. You can just crack on because you'll know exactly what you're doing. So I'm going to choose the place subject inside the house here layer. And I'm going to come up to file, place embedded. Place embedded is much better than copy and paste. And I'm going to choose this little guy's images by Anna Brandt. And you'll see he appears inside the house. So I'm just going to resize him here. So I'm just going to move him down a bit so his hands will be coming outside and hit enter. Now because I'm on Creative Cloud, I'm going to use the Select Subject option. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, you're going to have to mask this and select by hand. I'm going to come down here and add a layer mask. So the background has disappeared. I'm going to work on that hair in a minute and the shadows. I'm going to click on here, the cutout above the subject. That's this house here. So you see if it goes, he appears outside. And I'm going to add a layer mask to this layer. And now I'm going to hold down Control or Command and click the layer mask of your subject, the one you've just done the selection of. And with a black brush, I'm going to lightly paint away the cutout of the subject to reveal these hands underneath. Back on the subject layer, I'm going to use a white brush to paint some of the background in so we get these shadows back. And I'm also going to use a very low opacity brush to paint some of the shadows here in the front too. And I'm going to do the same with a black brush to paint away some of the, the uh, cutout in front of the subject here. Now you see the whites in this image um, are a slightly different shade to the whites in the digital background. So I'm going to click on the subject, come down here to the adjustment layers. This is all covered in video two um, if I'm going too fast. I'm going to create a color balance layer, right click and clip this to your subject. I'm going to click on the highlights and I'm just going to take a little bit of the magenta out and possibly a smidge of yellow in. I'm also going to click on the subject layer and clip in a curves layer because I'd like to darken this side of the subject and just darken that down a little perhaps bring the very whites down a touch I'm going to control or command click I to invert that one because I just want to paint it on a specific area I don't want to darken the whole image and just darken him down a little bit here And when you're happy with your selection, of course, you can refine the hair or anything if you need to. You can decide whether you want to turn on the, um, which background you want to turn on. I wouldn't close the gate on your subject, <laughs> so keep the gate open. Could adorn the windows, add the little snowman, perhaps add the snow to make this a real wintry scene, and then you can go ahead and save. So that's a really quick video of how to Add your subject half in and half out of the LSP North Pole Cottage digital background. And this is available at www.lsp-actions.com.